Welcome to the frozen lake. We're out here fishing for pike. We're about a mile from our cabin. We've actually fished this exact spot on this lake in the summertime. We've had good, good action with pike. So we're out here in the winter, we're ice fishing. We just drilled through about two feet of ice and we're getting ready to set our first line. So we're gonna do a few different methods of fishing out here. The first one, this is called a tip up and it kind of automatically tells you when there's a fish. So they'll grab your bait or whatever you have on there. They'll pull line out. It'll spin this and you'll have your flag down like that. And then when it spins, your flag will bounce up like that. And you see your flag, you come over, you pull the thing out and you try to pull up your fish. We're going to use a treble hook on this one, which means it has three hooks on it. And we're going to put some bait on here. And then this one, since we are fishing for pike, they have sharp teeth. We like to use steel leaders. This one I already had a, uh, it's just 50 pound line on here, so this should work too. We've already checked the depth of this hole and it's about 16 to 20 feet. Usually when you're fishing for pike, we like to go in the shallower water in the weeds, but on some of these tip ups, we're going to try to target big pike and big pike usually like to go in the deep water and they come into the shallow water to feed. So we're going to try to get them where the water's dropping off from shallow into deep. And that's kind of what this is. And with the pike, their eyes are on top of their head almost. So we're going to place our bait just beneath the ice, maybe like two or three feet. That way when they're swimming down low, they'll see it up above them and hopefully they'll come up and grab it. Now we're fishing. We're gonna go ahead and get the rest of our holes drilled. Feel something. Oh yeah, he's on there. Let's get him. Yeah, we got one. We just put this line in. This is our second tip up and the flag went up. It's not a monster. Feel it on there though. Oh, that's pretty good size. Okay. Nice looking pike. He didn't even eat the, the fish all the way. No, fishing's gonna be good today. Oh man, look at he just tore that fish in half. So pike have really sharp teeth and the bigger the pike, the bigger the teeth. These things are just crazy predators. Let's see if I can get that fish out of his mouth. Their, fit, their teeth are, like barbed inwards too. So whatever they grab, see how it just doesn't want to come out? Well, this guy, uh, I think we're gonna keep him for dinner, but we came out here to fish and have a good time. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna set some more tip ups. I think we got four in total to do. And then we brought some huge spoons. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to catch a big fish. This is a, that's a pretty small one. So see if we can catch one a little bigger. You gotta just cut the back half. Hey, your tip ups again. Oh, shoot, let's go. Well, you want some stuff? No, let's get the tip up. Stop it and hold it. And give it a little tug to set it. Maybe. That feels Whoa. much bigger than yours, then. Whoa. It doesn't feel that big, it's just fighting really strong. It's a really small one. Shoot, I'm gonna get the line all. Out. Wow, he's really tugging. You see that? Yeah, that's a fighter. That's bigger than that one, right? I just can't tell. He's just pulling really hard. 
I don't know, I get kind of scared because I see my own freaking reflection there. Well, if it's huge, wait a second, I'll get the gaff. It's bigger than yours. Should I get the gaff? No, but it's bigger than yours. He's mean. Hey, no, no, don't. Oh. You're going to break it. Okay. You're going to break it. I'm letting loose, so. Do you want to get the gaff? He's not huge, babe, but he's bigger. He's barely on. Nice one. Yeah, it's nice size. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a big one. He's fighting. That's a fatty. Good job. Look how fat he is. He's really strong. You know what I mean? I could feel it. I could tell it was bigger than yours. This is a good hole. Well, they're they're swimming in the shallows. Yeah. Apparently is what it is, so maybe we don't need to put, maybe let's put all our holes over Grab here. Grab it right here. It's not the biggest we've caught, but he's long. That's a nice <laughs> sized fish. What? It's it's a good sized fish. I'm, I'm out here for a monster, but I'm definitely gonna be taking this one home too. Nice. I hope we brought enough hooligan. That's what we're using, and Eric could want to bring two packs. I only brought one, so <laughs> we'll see if we have enough. This is that hooligan we harvested back in the spring, and it seems to be a favorite for a lot of fish out here. I think that's good, yeah. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try a whole fish. These fish definitely like to eat big food. A lot of action. Great day out here. It's snowing, but it's warm. It's like, it's gotta be over 20 degrees. Okay, we got second ones, or this is our third one. We got three set, nothing on that deep one yet. What do you think, try a little shallower? Let's keep going. Maybe back in there or something. Okay, the same hole, this hole has got another one. It's been like 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. This was a whole fish. This was with a whole fish. I don't know. You gotta be careful because they fight hard. I got it. Get the gaff though. It doesn't feel like, oh, he's fighting. I mean, it It doesn't feel like a like a 40 inch monster. That's why oh you my gosh. You can see what size they are. Can I tell how strong it's fighting? That's fighting less than the one I was just fighting. So it's not that big? Oh, that's a nice fish. No, it's fighting pretty good. Hey, you wanna get him? Here we go. What the heck is going on? It's oh, he's, like, off, he's off, he's off, he's off. He's off? He's off. Dang it. That was a good size one though. Huh? What do you mean? He took the bait and got off. Let's they get, get another piece of bait They got off sometimes. He'll get it again. Okay. He was, uh, I don't know. He was he was decent. I don't think it was as big as yours. You sure? I really saw him. I think what a lot of people do is they'll put um, two hooks per one piece of bait. We've done that before. But I, I think this is going to work. Let's try this whole one again on this one. And maybe half will get him to hook better. You know what I mean? Put it in about that same depth you had. This hole. Can you put it at the same depth? To, would you have it? Can I ask if I got to set it again? Uh... I had about maybe two feet. Did you set the hook or do you think it's because he had, took the whole thing? I set right? the hook. I had him. But he just got off. He wasn't hooked good enough. Plain and simple. I saw him and he was pretty big. Well, it's hard when this one keeps going off. I ain't complaining. Okay. It's in weeds. I can feel it. Even a little few inches shallow. Oh, that's perfect. That's awesome. Same thing. Same thing as yours. Just let's put it right under the... Okay, let's drill another hole. Last one. I was a little excited when the slides are going up. Don't go again. I hope so. All of the holes are drilled. So we got four tip-ups and we got two holes that we're gonna fish with these. I'm using a red devil. I think this is like a four inch one, just a massive spoon. And I'm in probably 12 feet of water. And I'm gonna put this down in there a few feet under the ice. I'm gonna go like that. Hopefully entice a pike to come in. It's so much fun catching a pike on a little rod and reel like this. You can feel them bite and they just, they just hit really hard. So hopefully we get some action. Just switched from my big spoon. We're getting no action. I just put on a tube jig. Is he on? He's not on. He bit. No. No, he got off. He bit though. Oh. It felt like a nice size. I wonder if you take it out and Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, he's. Let him bite. I am, but this is a single hook, so it's hard to hook him. Well, let him, let him get it. He's hungry. 
Let me act like I'm swimming away. I'm leaving, Pike. He just hit it again. Oh yeah, he's hitting it. He must be small. He must just like the color. He must be small because... He's not biting big enough? He can't inhale. It is not pike. What would it be? Oh yeah, I got him that time. Is that a small one? Uh, it's fighting like a small one. It's fighting like a small one. <laughs> oh, I see him. I see him. He's in there. Oh, yeah, he's a fighter. He's no, he's a good one. He's pretty good. Not as big as yours, but... Oh, that's a nice one. Got him. Got nice him on little, the tube jig. Nice little fat one. Barely got him. He's not too small at all. I don't know why he wasn't biting. Nice yeah, job. It might have been a different one. Nice job. Got him on the rod and reel. Nice pike. And this is what I caught him on. A little white jig head, a little glow in the dark. I think that's a three and a half inch glow in the dark tube jig. No, no action before that though. No yeah. action before that. As soon as I switched, I was getting strikes. So let's, let's switch you to something, Ariel. Let's see if we can get you one. Just got another bite on the on a tube jig. I put, I just put an even bigger tube jig on. They're liking these tube jigs. I was just about to say I'm gonna go yellow. Flag. We both heard it spring up. Oh yeah. Oh, I got him. Whatever it is, I got him. Well, you don't got it yet. Gotta get out of the hole. Okay. That's a pretty big one. Do you need me? me do you need my assistance? I just need my gaff. My homemade gaff. I don't know if you need me. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, oh. He just got off. No. He was right there. He was right there at the hole. Why did he get off? He spit out the fish. I think we need to put the half a fish on here. I was telling you that. Okay, let's do it. He was pretty good size. Dang it. Dang it is right. Man. I'm sorry. Talk about action though. This this lake is on fire right now. It's been like an hour since we got anything on these though. On these, but I got them on mine. Oh, he's on there. He came back. Well, let him, let him really get set. Yeah, I mean, let him really eat it. He's eating it. Should I tug him? You let him eat it. I don't know what you want to do. You want to set it? You want I'm going to try? set it, I think. You got my nerves going. Let's get him this time. He's... <sighs> Hopefully it. it comes back. It was a nice one. He didn't take the... The bait? So. I think the thing, I know it sucks, because if you leave them too long, they get off. Yeah. But if you try and work them too early, they usually get off too. So what do you think? I think let them take the bait for a while. Let them really have it. Eric ran back to the cabin to check on the dogs, grab some food. It's just been hit or miss out here. We had some varying success and some of them got off with the pike. I feel like we've, we've been fishing for them for a few years and it really just depends on what they bite. We've had them bite on hot dogs before. We've had them bite spoons. In the summer, they'll bite all sorts of various things. We just keep trying different things and seeing if, seeing if it's working. But it, it's definitely slowed down. We haven't really had a bite probably a good 30 minutes or so. And we only have maybe another hour, hour and a half of light left. I got lunch. I'll hit some major overflow. You I see it? Saw the <laughs> I just hit it again coming back. I think For I some reason that. there's overflow. I think we should need to take the, the shore on the way back. Yeah, yeah, this thing's so heavy it just like sunk down. Pasta salad for lunch, but not just any pasta salad. <laughs> this one has candied smoked salmon in it. Oh yeah. Sockeye salmon. Well, we're heading out. We just got these three fish, but they are more than enough for a meal. So we're happy with that. And it is, it's snowing again, pretty badly. So we're gonna head back quick.
You want to weigh him? Well, let's get a let's get a measurement on this thing. How big do you think this pike is? You're pretty good at judging them. I'm. I think it's like tw 20, 26. I was gonna say 24. Oh. Let's see. You mind holding the scale for me? 25. 25-ish. A little shy. Yeah, I, I call that. I call that 25. 25 inches. How heavy do you think it is? At two. Two. What does it say? No. Three and a half. Three and a half pounds? I thought it was three. He's heavy. 3.56, yeah. Not three and a half, but three. Almost three and a half. Oh my gosh. We're at our outhouse and clearly it is not in service right now. Um, it's something we're kind of trying to think about how we can get it back up and running, so to speak. So we're going to look at it and take some measurements. I hope to do this while it was light, but we have lost our light. So we're going to take some measurements and see if there's something we can do about this. The roof, the roof got a tree fell. I'd say the door may be good. The door and then this... Uh, it's almost like a complete redo, honestly. I mean, you could probably use this again. Honestly, it's a pretty good structure. Okay, well, I think that that's gonna be a complete redo, is what Eric says. So, I'm just gonna shut the door for now, and we'll see this next time. Well, we're all topped off with gas, and almost right for tomorrow. But it is snowing and it pretty much has not let up this whole trip so it's making things a little more difficult than usual but with the snow we do get the warm weather so we'll take it I don't know. I'm getting pretty hungry. Let's cook the fish. Like just enough. Probably just enough. We're gonna be way lighter on the way home. Well, for the past few months, we've been wanting to make chipino, and we just haven't done it, and we're gonna make it tonight. And chipino is basically like a seafood soup. It's like a tomato-based soup. Usually you'll have crab, clams, fish, scallops. You can put a lot of different seafoods in there. We have pike. That's the only fish we're gonna put in there, but it should be good. We'll see how it turns out. We're just gonna cook this pike on the skillet first. Usually when you're making chipino, you'd put your fish in raw in the, in the broth of the soup, and it would cook it in there but there's some bones in there. I know there is, because I didn't do too good of a job filleting it. So we're gonna cook that, pick the bones out, and then we're gonna get started on our soup here real quick. In the soup so far, we have garlic, onion, garlic scapes, leeks, and celery, and a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna add tomato sauce and bone broth. This should be good.
I'm gonna try it just like that. Oh my god. Salt and pepper, it smells really mm -hmm. I love pike. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I gotta get the bones out of that. Maybe I just really like the way it tastes, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I would personally rate it as good as salmon. That was delicious. It's completely different, but it's good. Yeah. But it doesn't. I don't know. It just has a, it. It has a strong flavor, like compared to some other fishes. You know. Did you try the pike? No, not yet. Bite. It tastes like that without the butter. I've had pike plenty of times without butter. It just has a lot of flavor, in my opinion. No, you're right. Almost tastes like lemony. Okay, those are our boneless pieces of pike. Those are going in. Oh, it smells like chipino. Look at that. A little longer, probably at least half hour, this wood stove is ripping hot. It's like 85 degrees in here. I'm gonna clean out our cast iron and I'm gonna make a little bread to go with that. You don't have like a little ladle or anything? No, we gotta use this cup. Okay, that works. But it smells good. Have you tried it yet? Oh gosh. I don't know what that tastes like, but. Tomato. It tastes like tomato seafood. Wow. For not being. Oh, spice? Really, technically speaking, seafood. Oh my gosh. It's really, it tastes like seafood. Look at it with a shawl. No? Well, not too much excitement in our lives today. We are going to be shutting the system down. We're going to sleep soon. <laughs> The sweet day Alaska. We're going to bed. This is late. We got to get up early and hit the river. All right, got our coffee going. Gonna get some more water going so I can do some dishes and then we're gonna make some oatmeal. We're 
getting ready to head out on the river and we always have to bring a little bit of food or snacks out there. We're running a little bit short on all the food we have here, but I do have some of these muffins left that I made and they're blueberry, like whole grain muffins. And we're adding a splash of Nutella for spirit and for flavor out there. Making them into little sandwiches. There you go, a little surprise. A muffin in my throat. Whew. I've never been a huge fan of this stuff, but it's kind of going on me. Good coffee, thanks. It's probably the best coffee I've had. What else? That blue bag, that close bag? That one's ready to go. Yeah. I got it. Do you want to put your extra gloves in there or anything or no? I'm going to wear this for now while we're packing up. All right. I'm going to start getting the clothes ready. Can I have your cough? Thank you. I got to get you a bundle, dude. How do you tilt this? Oh, I'll figure it out. Talk much on. Yeah. You gonna bring this home? No. I can't think of a reason I'll bring it. Chickens. These welds look good, they held up, right? Uh -huh. More a lot lighter. I think that that spring action part would be the first spray. Yeah. But I think it would take a lot. Yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> I don't think they ever really planned to do that. Not this far, but hey. In a pinch. We've probably got established. I don't know why. ready got to make sure to have some kindling here that way next time we come first thing just grab some kindling we got a bunch of dry wood over there we can start a fire and warm this place up it's looking good it's looking clean
our 2022 trip has come to an end. The first one of the winter season for us. We had a great time and I was up to some crafting last night and this is what I did behind me. A lot of you kind folks sent us cards over the holidays and last year we started the tradition to bring them out to this cabin and I hung them up this time and I think it looks beautiful. It's very crafty, so I hope you enjoy it as well. We always enjoy the support and the comments and you watching. And I know a lot of you are from Alaska. Some of you are from other spots in the world, all over the world. And we just think that's really super neat. So a part of you now has come out to our remote cabin here in Alaska. Here's to another safe trip. And I think we're gonna hit the road. Look at the tail's a little. Go home. Come on now, let's go. Ready for the long haul. Ready for the river ride. Ready for the trip home. Ready to get there. We're ready. Okay. Alright, till next time, little cabin. We'll be seeing ya. skinny man oh my gosh it's a bad angle okay how you like it dude let's warm the machines up well hopefully this is a good trip home over the past few days the temperature has really risen up here i think the height we've gotten like to almost above freezing maybe like 30 degrees fahrenheit and that causes little bits of problems one of them is overflow um, on the lakes or the river and we're on a frozen lake right now and the ride home is Primarily on a frozen river and we're gonna try not to get stuck in it So Ariel's gonna ride ahead of me quite a ways since she's not towing anything. She has less of a chance of getting stuck She's gonna go real fast if she hits any bad spots She'll wave me down and let me know and at that point I'll unhook one trailer and I'll take one trailer at a time through it We are a lot lighter on the way home. We put all the extra gas in our machines both machines are topped off that should be more than enough to get home and we have an extra two gallons just in case and then you know food water things like that we're just a little bit lighter so hopefully we have a good trip home